Now we dig deep into one of FL Studio's best kept secrets. Hi. We all know it's there. But hand on heart, who really knows what it's good for? Please note that what I explain here is only valid for FL native plugins and VST. If you are working with external gear, you have to use MIDI out plugins to route nodes to different MIDI channels. The basic idea behind node colors was to provide multiple voices directly in the piano roll editor. A voice in this case doesn't mean polyphony. That is the ability of an instrument to play several notes simultaneously as in a chord, but a kind of separate MIDI signal chains to which multiple notes can belong to. For example, in this patcher, there are two separate chains, which are called in FL Studio language two voices. This term voice will continue to accompany us in the next videos, so don't forget it. To each voice, I can send as many notes as I like, and I can process them for each voice individually. The most classic way to make use of this are multitemporal instruments. This means using instruments which can load and play different sounds at the same time, like for example Direct Wave. In Direct Wave, I have a selector for 16 channels. Each of these channels can hold one Direct Wave program. Let's make a simple one and insert a kick sample in the first channel, a snare on the second channel, and let's change the root key to D by simply right-clicking the corresponding key. And a hi-hat on the third channel, which I set to E. If I hit the C on the keyboard, Direct Wave plays a kick. I set the snare to D, so let's try this. Hmm. Again the kick, but a bit higher in pitch. Same happens for the E, I mapped the hi-hat too. I need a way to tell Direct Wave when to play which sample when they are separated this way. This is where the main purpose of note colors come into play. We have 16 colors corresponding to the 16 choices of Direct Wave's selector. Color 1 sends the note to the kick. If I change the color to the second, I can now play my snare, either from my MIDI keyboard as in the piano roll editor. Color 3 gives me access to the hi-hat. This is of course a silly example, as I could have put the three samples directly into one program. But with more complex instruments, it's not that easy. I have loaded here a direct wave with three different multi-sampled instruments. A pad, strings and the piano and with different note colors I can put complex arrangements into a single part of a pattern for which I normally would have to use three separate instruments and edit the notes in three different piano rolls instead of one This works too for VST instruments.
So instead of using multiple MIDI outs and set the port and channels for everything, I can neatly trigger everything from a single piano roll. This was about the basic idea, like other doors offer to set notes to different MIDI channels, you set the notes to different colors in FL Studio. But there's more. It's for example a simple way to group notes, that you can easily select them with setting the wished colors and the command select by color, or shift C. Which is in this case not a big deal, but in other situations like here, can be a big time saver. It can be quite work intense to select them manually. You don't have to go always to the color menu to choose a color. Just click on an existing note of the color you want to choose and hit Shift C to select all of the same. And even more. Slide Notes is a very often used feature for FL Studio native plugins. But did you know that they can work per voice? And with voice I mean everything now. The MIDI signal chain voice as the voice in polyphony as for example in chords. I've got here a sine wave playing at C4 and C5. If I now add a slight note an octave higher, both notes follow. The distance between the slight note and the highest normal note determines by how many semitones all of the notes shift in pitch. But watch what happens if I set the lower note to a different color. Only the note with the same color like the slight note goes up. The other stays unaffected. And this happens if I now put in a second slide note with a new color. As MPE was only a wet dream of some developers, users of FL Studio had already the ability to affect notes of a single instrument in a polyphonic way. Note colors, group notes, slide and portamento only affect what's in their own group. And the devs didn't stop. As instruments got more complex, they realized that even instruments which can play only one preset at a time can benefit from different note colors apart from slides and portamentos. Perhaps you wondered already why some FL Studio native plugins got some text entries if you open the color menu. They got what the manual calls special note colors. Let's have a look at Harmless. Here's a silly little sequence playing. Starting with the last entry, filter frequency. Perhaps you can already guess what it does. Similar to using Fruity Keyboard Controller, you can change the filter frequency by adding notes. Higher pitches open the filter, lower pitches closing the filter for the duration of the inserted note. C5 represents the value set in the GUI. I now activate Portamento, which sounds like this. With these two notes, the pitch slide is clearly hearable. But what if I just want to have the effect on the higher note and not on the others? In the note color menu we have the entry inverted portamento. This is a switch to invert the state of the portamento button for notes using this color. If I just want to have the portamento on this single note, it's easiest to leave the function off in the plugin and to set this note to color number 15. Perfect. Just this one note got the effect. Let's test legato. The higher notes are overlapping the lower ones, 
and if I activate Legato, they are sliding into each other. Again, what if I want this effect just for the first pair, but not for the second? Just select the second pair and change the color to inverted legato. Let's go a step further and look at another example. Harmor. In addition to the options we found in Harmless, there is a bypass drum with all the notes set to note color 1 and this drum settings. We are hearing the notes coming in one by one with the lowest first. If I set now the highest one to bypass this drum, it plays like the lowest note right from the start and only the second and the third come in later. Just for demonstration, I made here a little apeggio, which goes always up. Starting at C4, it goes to C5, C6, C7 and starts with C4 again. What about letting it start differently? In our color menu, we got the option A Priority. A note of the chord colored this way will be the first one to be played. In our case, the order is now C6, C4, C5, C7, starting with C6 again. For Citrus, we find the inverted portamento and the R priority, which we already have seen, and an autogun, as well as ogun, the inverted portamento only. A new feature we got for transistor bass. If autofollow is activated, the different pitches are bound to sequences and patches. But there is no way to play a sequence which is like here programmed on C at a different pitch. A different pitch plays automatically a different sequence and patch. Luckily, there is note color 13. Transpose sequences. This is what happens to the same sequence if I unmute these notes, which I set to note color 13. Notes set to C5, which equals MIDI number 60, play back the sequence at its original pitch. Higher values than number 60 transpose up, and accordingly lower numbers pitch the sequence down. I love this patch. Interesting, it gets again with Slicex. What most people don't even realize, not to speak ever have used, is that Slicex offers two decks for loops and samples. Like a multi timbral instrument, they get triggered by different note colors, one and two. The first two bars are the loop of deck A. The last two playing deck B. I can of course let them play together. At the places where the clap happens, it flanges a bit. So what about playing some reversed? all in a single piano roll. I spoke all the time from changing colors and you did watch me doing this over and over again. But how does it actually work? There are several options. 
to insert nodes of different colors, you have to change the color before you insert the node, slide or portamento. There are two ways to change existing nodes. Double clicking the node, choose the color from the selector and accept. This works just for single nodes. The node property window for multiple nodes doesn't contain any color selector. The second method works for single nodes as a selection of multiple ones. Select the nodes, set the color and either go to the piano row menu, edit, change color or just hit Alt C. This is what I did most of the time. Experiment and enjoy so far node colors in FL Studio for this first part. And thank you for watching.